Hey everyone, it's about that time to bring you a very exciting update to Media Composer software. Avid is bringing many customer requested features to the editor. This video will only serve as an overview to the major features of the update, but let's take a look. The first feature that we'll talk about inside Media Composer software is the ability to perform a background render. Like the addition of background transcoding in Media Composer 7, now you can render effects in the background while you continue to work. Just go to render effects as you normally would, mark the checkbox in the render effects dialog box that says run in the background, click OK, and keep working. The sequence will auto link when the process is finished. Along with this release, we'll also have the ability to make favorite bins. This means you can make a bin or bins that act just as normal bins do, yet they're accessible regardless of what project you're in. So you can throw your favorite clips, sequences, music, and even effects templates right in there, and you'll always have them when you need them. To make a favorite bin, first get into your bin settings in the project window. Set up if you want those bins at the top or bottom of the project window and click OK. Go into the bin that you want to make a favorite out of, right click on that bin and select Add Bin to Favorites. That's it. Very cool. Another change that you'll notice rather quickly is the Select Project window looks a little different. We've expanded it to allow for longer project names, and additionally, when you click to select a project, you'll see a project summary for that project in the window on the right, here. Once you're inside a project, you'll notice there's a search bar at the top of your project window. Now you can use that to filter out bins in the project window by typing in text that matches up what you're looking for. This is great if you have a large number of bins in a project and you want to find exactly what you're looking for fast. This search feature is related to markers. Now you can search for text within the marker comment field across all sequences and master clips within the project, including opened and closed bins. Just hit Command or Control F for Mac or Windows respectively and click on the markers tab. Type a word or phrase into the search box. You can use some filters if you wish and hit find. You can double click a marker in the results window to load up its master clip or sequence into the source monitor right where the marker is. Simply stated, now you can establish how much memory is up for grabs to cache thumbnails. This gives you quicker recalls on thumbnails as you load or scroll in bins or sequences. To change these settings, open up the media cache settings from the settings tab on the project window. Change the location of the cache if you wish, enter values for the disk and memory cache sizes, and click OK. There's even a flush button if you wish to clear the cache folder. Simple as that. For a full list of all the new features inside the Media Composer 8.2 release, check out the What's New guide inside the knowledge base at avid.com. For more videos like this, you can always check out avid.com forward slash how to.